Kia ora. we've nearly finished the vowels. We've done a, e, i, and today we'll do o and u. Let's start with these examples for o. Listen and copy me. O no, o no, that's the number six. Mo ko, mo ko, that's a tattoo, and it's also short for mokopuna, which means grandchild. Now let's look at u, which is very short. We have ku, Kupu and kupu means word. We have puku, puku, and that means tummy. Here's a phrase you can use to practice some of the vowels. E no ho. E no ho. No ho means to sit or stay, and if we add e, we turn it into an instruction. So e no ho is a phrase you can use when you want someone to sit. E no ho. You can even say it to the dog. E no ho. Kaki de.